Hello traders, my name is Tomasz Wiśniewski, I'm a chief analyst at Alpari Research and Analysis and this is Daily Analytical Report. Let's start and let's start with our calendar. In our calendar you can see uh, two most important events yesterday. Uh, FOMC minutes obviously is um, always important but uh, we didn't get any attractions uh, from the uh, Fed side. Uh, they are patient, they are waiting for the situation to develop, they are closely monitoring the data, etc. Et uh, second most uh, interesting uh, data was EIA crude oil stocks change. Uh, huge build uh, and definitely negative information for oil and oil is going down and i will see this movement a bit later we also had a great data from canada retail sales uh, much better than expectations and canadian dollar is uh, stronger right now we also had the data from uk worse than expectations um, i mean inflation retail price index uh, was uh, better uh, but part is going lower and not driven by that data but mostly due to the Brexit because um, Theresa May I think uh, is going to quit uh, soon uh, from being a prime minister uh, so that is what is risky for the British pound right now uh, let's check the calendar for today. Wednesdays are usually the uh, busiest. Uh, what we are having today are PMIs uh, from Germany, definitely important. PMIs from Eurozone. Uh, and apart from this, uh, that's it. PMIs also from, uh, from US. So you can say that today is a PMI day. Let's see the charts. We will start with the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going slightly uh, lower, but still the sentiment is positive towards this cryptocurrency. It is all going uh, really, really good so far. Um, American dollar to Swiss franc. So yesterday we told you about this horizontal resistance. Uh, here this horizontal resistance is working. Yesterday we tested this resistance again and again we got a bounce. So there is this double top formation one, two, and most probably after this double top formation on a horizontal resistance, we will get some kind of a drop. Why the price is stopping here? Because the price is on a long term uptrend line. But if not this price, I think it would be much easier. Uh, like there is a flag uh, here a downswing flag downswing but it seems like a U uh, dollar to Swiss franc it seems that this pair should go down now uh, gold uh, gold is uh, seeing the uh, downward pressure is experiencing the downward uh, downward pressure uh, none of those supports like long-term uptrend line and the 38.2 worked mm, uh, so the price should continue to go down what is interesting here is that even despite the fact that those supports were broken here the price is not accelerating so uh, we don't have a capitulation of the uh, buyers. They are not abandoning gold, which is quite interesting. I'm wondering if this is not a false breakout then. Uh, but for the, for the false breakout, we need to see the price coming back above the blue line. As long as we are below the blue line, the sentiment is still negative. But this is just interesting that the price really should go down after breaking such important supports but the price is not going down that's pretty interesting now crude here is the reaction after this data and we analyzed crude yesterday and i told you that on crude 
um, we were in, in a place where uh, we were in the flag formation above uh, the uptrend line and below the upper line of the flag and I said that the breakout of the uh, down uptrend line should give us a sell signal and the breakout of the uptrend line should give us a buy signal. So what happened here is the price broke the, uh, the uptrend line which gives us a buy signal and with this the price should decline towards this uh, support of so $58 for a barrel and I see the chance for this movement I think that is quite significant uh, here so after this data mm, from, from the fundamental point of view and after this breakout from the technical point of view there is a proper sell signal on uh, WTI oil next one is euro dollar on euro dollar I still have the short position opened and you can see that we tested 1.118 yesterday again and again the price uh, created a head on the candle so there is a head here the uh, long head here long head here which shows you that this week this resistance got rejected and the price should go down especially after the breakout of this and the breakout of this uh, dynamic uh, support so everything looks uh, ready for the bearish movement now euro to swiss franc where i also do have a short position i opened this uh, somewhere here when the price broke from this uh, pennant but then we had a small correction so look uh, this is a proper way to place stop loss it wasn't activated uh, there was uh, uh, this downtrend line was at some point the neckline of the double bottom formation breakout of this line would trigger a buy signal but it got defended the price went down here we have a reaction of the failed bullish opportunity then the price breaks the support after the breakout of the support we test this as a resistance and the price goes down very clean bearish setup and the price should continue to go down uh, we are on a mid-term uh, mid-term lows uh, and our aim uh, for this movement is somewhere here so you can see that in terms of the risk to reward ratio uh, this can be pretty a good trade as you can see five uh, see oh, let's say 570 euros take profit is free times bigger than the potential loss so this is a good trade in terms of the risk to reward ratio New Zealand dollar to Canadian dollar finally some kind of a, a correction uh, we cannot say that this is a reversal this is just a correction as for now and the first target is the green line we will see what will happen uh, here but um, on a daily chart it looks promising because we have a hammer we don't have this bullish candle so i think the correction can go at least to the green uh, line and that would be my idea for new zealand dollar to canadian dollar now dollar dollar index where you can see precisely uh, what is happening recently on the market so there is a positive sentiment towards the american dollar one two three four five six seven eight nine bullish days in a row bullish candles in a row and we are breaking the upper line of the ascending triangle pattern again mm, i think that this time uh, we can think about success uh, of the buyers so there is a positive sentiment on four dollar which you can see on in the upswing of the dollar index american dollar to canadian dollar here uh, strong downswing and then even stronger reversal that is a v-shape reversal pattern i can say mm, and this support got defended here 
So with this kind of uh, situation, I think that uh, we do have a positive sentiment for the American dollar to Canadian dollar and the price should continue to uh, go up. Now British pound to Japanese yen after this correction, the price is still going lower. As we said, British pound has its own problems and uh, it's due to the Brexit. Uh, it, those problems are caused by Brexit. I, to be honest with you, I don't touch pound for a long time because for me this instrument is too risky right now. So I'm not interested in trading uh, the British pound. Now S&P 500. S&P 500 is still in this wedge pattern. We are waiting for the breakout of the upper line of the wedge because the breakout of the upper line of the wedge should give us a buy signal but it's not happening so we should uh, as long as we are inside of the wedge the sentiment short-term sentiment is negative american dollar to russian rubble not much is happening here here as well so actually i can delete those two uh, because we had an interesting situation we had good movements but uh, they are no longer here Swiss franc to Japanese yen, they made a comeback above the support. Uh, they defended this as a support, so there is a positive sentiment. Only thing worrying is uh, here is uh, the flag. So the flag is a correction pattern and the price may go to 50% FIBO, let's say, and then we may see a reversal uh, breaking the lower line of the flag, but it's still uh, yet to come we will see if it will happen or not this is just one of the scenarios uh, the current current scenario which is uh, probable possible is the price uh, going higher because of this defense of this horizontal support australian dollar to japanese yen as expected they broke the lower line of the pennant pennant is a trend continuation pattern so the price should continue to go uh, down here is this uh, support here euro to canadian dollar euro to canadian dollar defended this long-term uptrend line this may be a start of a correction in the shorter term you may experience a false breakout here uh, so it it looks good it looks interesting for the buyers uh, we will see how deep this correction will be but as long as we stay above the green line there is no sell signal and the last instrument is euro to japanese yen where the price is still inside of the flag but here the pressure to the downside is rising and uh, i think that we should get the breakout at some point because that's what the sentiment for the euro is currently uh, that euro is under the pressure and uh, should go down so let me show you this uh, those instruments one more time what we have here is bitcoin bitcoin is still in a positive territory american dollar to swiss franc negative gold negative crude negative euro dollar negative euro swiss franc negative new zealand dollar to canadian dollar short term positive long term negative dollar index positive american dollar canadian dollar positive british pound japanese yen negative s p 500 still negative swiss uh, uh, franc japanese yen positive australian dollar japanese yen negative euro to canadian dollar positive and euro to japanese yen negative so this is the current situation on the market thanks very much guys for staying with us and watching daily analytical report i hope you enjoy this and see you tomorrow